And here is the Writer's Almanac for Monday. It's the 15th of March, 2021. The Ides of March, the day on which Julius Caesar was stabbed to death by conspirators in 44 B.C. He'd been at odds with the Roman Senate. The Senate felt that Caesar was a threat to the Republic, that he had tyrannical leanings. And so the senators Brutus and Cassius formed a group called the Liberators who met to conspire against Caesar. They considered several assassination ideas and finally decided to attack him at a meeting of the Senate in the theater of Pompey, where only senators were allowed to be present and knives could easily be concealed under their togas. In the days before, a number of people had warned Caesar not to go to that meeting of the Senate. His wife, Calpurnia, begged him not to go. She'd had a dream about it. But Brutus, one of the conspirators, convinced Caesar that it would be unmanly to listen to gossip and the pleadings of a woman. According to Plutarch's account, Caesar passed a seer on the way who had told Caesar that harm would come to him on the Ides of March. Caesar saw the seer and said, the Ides of March have come. And the seer said, yes, but they're not gone yet. And when he arrived at the Senate, he was set upon by Brutus and Cassius, who stabbed him dozens of times and left him to bleed to death. The assassination was meant to save the Republic, but it actually resulted in the downfall of the Republic, sparked a series of civil wars, and led to Octavian becoming Caesar Augustus, the first Roman emperor, the very thing that the conspirators had feared. It's the birthday of the botanist Liberty Hyde Bailey, born South Haven, Michigan, 1858, who became the first professor of horticulture at Cornell University and wrote an encyclopedia of cultivated plants, Hortus, still a standard reference in the field. The blues guitarist Lightning Hopkins, born Centerville, Texas, 1912, played on street corners and clubs and at Carnegie Hall. The literary biographer Richard Elman, born Highland Park, Michigan, 1918, wrote biographies of Yeats, James Joyce, Oscar Wilde. And the Nigerian novelist and poet Ben Okri, born in Minna, Nigeria, 1959. His novel, The Famished Road, won the Booker Prize in 1991. Ben Okri, who said literature doesn't have a country. Shakespeare is an African writer. The characters of Turgenev are ghetto dwellers. Dickens's characters are Nigerians. Literature may come from a specific place, but it always lives in its own unique kingdom. Here's a poem for today by Wendell Berry, The Summer Ends. The summer ends, and it is time to face another way. Our theme reversed, we harvest the last row to store against the cold. Undo the garden that will be undone. We grieve under the weakened sun to see all earth's green fountains dried and fallen all the works of light. You do not speak. And I regret this downfall of the good we sought, as though the fault were mine. I bring the plow to turn the shattering leaves and bent stems into the dark from which they may return. At work, I see you leaving our bright land, the last cut flowers in your hand. The Summer Ends by Wendell Berry from A Timbered Choir, published by Counterpoint Press, used by permission here on the Writer's Almanac. Be well, do good work, and keep in touch.